<laughs> oh, come on. I don't want to give the Lakers any extra incentives. No, Who, and who's ranking? Okay. We say ranking. Is this what kind of a ranking based on wins and losses? Yeah, it's based on performance throughout a number of games. Because that's why I say, what's the rankings? Who's ranking? Well, number one. Okay. I, I'll, I'll say this because I, I have to pull from different so- sources. It, it, it'll come from your main outlets or independent writers. And they like a rank vote, them. like a voter, yeah. like a writer's yeah. vote ranking. Yeah. It okay. Comes you know, because first thing with these rankings, you know, they're all done different ways. Yeah, I know. And that's why I always ask how they're done. It's the same as the NFL. You go to a main source that basically says, here's what we surveyed. It's their survey. It can be subjective. I understand NFL, that. NFL, the thing, does their ones specifically only on statistics. Yeah. They're, do- they're doing the same yeah, here. You don't vote. see the breakdown. It's not a vote. Oh, okay. That's what I was asking. I thought yeah. you said it was writers. Well, it's it, they, they take, just like the BCS, they'll say, here's the ranking based on these st- t- statistics. The I don't BCS have is statistics. Right. The writers are a vote. That's yeah, but, why one is, they're totally. No, but they do have. They take into consideration the statistics, so they take their performances over each week. What they've done. You mean who does it? Uh, the the right. I can't. Well, the writers can take I, into consideration whatever they want. Right. The way the data is is that they make a vote. Yeah. And the BCS, there's not a vote. Right. It's a it's a it's a straight oh, no, statistical I, ranking I, right. of the schools then versus it's a whole mathematical right. thing. Right. No, they do the mathematics and then they they have close they and then they take in their vote as well. I'm saying they do both. They do both. Who of does them. both? The writers. They take in their mathematics. No, I mean, writers can take in whatever they want. You're right. not inside his head. How right. would you know what he take? You no one can know I'm what only, they take in account. It was only what they actually. Right. Rep- I didn't put the information up here. No. Well, the the difference being one being human beings. Right. And one being a mathematical. Cool. That's the main well, reason well, I was trying to separate. Well, the it out. BCS includes a, a percentage of the human vote. It actually has a, their their column. They'll actually show you that here's the human vote along with the mathematics. They have them both. Okay. Well, if the, okay. Well, again, they okay. Just by formulation, they still have to apply some either a scheme, right? Because right. one is just. Take a hundred people. Right. How many of you vote number one? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, how yeah, many of definitely. you vote? That's the way the coaches poll is yeah. pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's not any calculation of their rankings. Just they ask the hundred people or whatever number. Yeah. How many of you vote? And then the and the ranking is whoever gets the most number one votes. Yeah. Is number one. The straight whoever vote. Whoever gets vote. It's right. like a survey. Right. Yeah. I got you. Right. Okay. All right. Well, when they when they did this, they actually have the uh, I guess New Orleans Horn New Orleans Hornets was number one until. Of course, they lost against the Dallas Mavericks. So they actually voted them along with the information we were discussing, discussing, discussing. I like that word, discussing, and basically said, hey, we didn't take in consideration that the Mavericks who defeated them p- keeps them at number one. But up until yesterday, 24 hours ago, New Orleans is number one. So we just want to let you know that right offhand, San Antonio's two, Los Angeles is four, Boston is three. This is only going to survive for probably a week. A couple of more games, they'll take in the data and they'll do their vote and it'll change. The part that got me is how far the Lakers dropped to number four. I mean, they took, they went from one to four. So we're not going to sit back and live on this too long. If you had to predict who would be number one, say after Thanksgiving, Mario, if you had to just predict without any other data, what team do you think from what you've seen so far Will be number one. Will it still be New Orleans? Will it be L.A. or Boston? Well, since, again, I, since I'm not sure how they're getting this ranking. I can say that I expect the one to have the best record to be the Boston Celtics. Now, whether that that makes them number one right. or not is another thing, as we learned, like with Atlanta, right? We right. had a team that was essentially undefeated, but one would no one was going to argue right. that they were the best team in the NFL in the, in the NBA. Right. So I think the Celtics would be have the the best record. Okay. Okay. So so far, okay. And, and and here's the part that I like: Utah Jazz jumped just jumped up to number five because they were on that recent tear of coming back from down in the games and finally lost against the Oklahoma City Thunder at home. So I guess they went on a road trip, beat everybody, came home, got exhausted, and Oklahoma came in and gave them a loss. And I'm pretty sure they, they'll take that any day. So for, for the most part right now, I think a lot of people are happy that a different team other than Boston and L.A. is not number one. And the part that gets me is that Miami is so far down the list. 
So they have a ways to go to get themselves back to the overhyped media that they were supposed to be the number one team winning 70 something games, which they don't seem to be even close to doing. Barely over 500 balls. So just. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I, and I did find it. Yeah, that's, that's a USA Today uh, uh, poll. Right. And they got an ESPN poll, and they got so that, some other Okay, polls. so this is, yeah, so this is just the USA Today. Right. Okay. Yeah. Other, so the other people will, and may or may not agree with this. But right. I'll, I'll, and we'll find out how they did it. Right. But it is, it is specifically a USA Today poll. Right. So what we're doing is trying to project where we think the top three teams are, and I believe it's going to be probably remaining up there, either L.A., Boston, like you said, maybe San Antonio or New Orleans. I think they'll float. I think Miami has a ways to go before they get up there because they still need to see more consistent play. So now we have to speed to what we call Do You Believe? It's a section that, for me, I just say we have a little fun with because whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. So before we go any further, I'm going to ask you the question, Do You Believe? You don't have to agree. Do you believe Monday Night Football analyst John Gruden's comment, nobody can stop this guy, give me his autograph in reference to Michael Vick, is overkill on Vick's performance, or he actually wants his autograph? No, that's the way it looked. And plus, you know, he probably gets on eBay every now and then. <laughs> You're wrong. It'll be worth something. <laughs> You're you wrong. can sell that. What's his autograph going to be worth? Who, Michael At Vick? At least two in the bush. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, you, you did your timing is pretty good on that least, one. I like that two one. Two in the bush. All right. Okay. Here's the, here's the question I was waiting for. Do you believe Michael Vick's new contract will exceed Tom Brady's contract at the end of the season because he's going to be up for signing a new contract? Do you believe? I have no way. No I, way. I can't. It all depends on whether he lasts. So I'm not sure. So that's a roll of the dice to me, whether or not he will actually be standing at the end of the season. <laughs> Let's just. I will say this: If he's standing at the end of the season and healthy, then he certainly could exceed Tom Brady. Right. Even if not, and w- without even him, he doesn't have to even continue to do the kinds of things totally that he's done of late. Okay. That was ridiculously successful. Okay. Let's just say he's reasonably successful and survives the season. Then, then he certainly has a potential of oh, I got doing you. that. Okay. Okay. Do you believe the one in ten Los Angeles Clippers coach Vinny Del Negro will still be the coach after fifty games played this season? Mm. Yes. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. And you know what? I agree with you, Mar. You know why? Donald Sterling will hold on to losing coaches. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's used to losing. <laughs> Okay. All right. Doesn't bother him one bit. <laughs> right. So but he's not a. He doesn't. Mind, he wins in his other things. I assume because he's a millionaire. Right. But he certainly doesn't mind if his basketball team sucks. Okay. Yeah. He probably. I'm sure he doesn't mind. He goes out. Doesn't care. Doesn't. He's not. He's not like Jerry Jones of who owns the Cowboys. Right. He obviously doesn't care that his team is losing. <laughs> he's not embarrassed by it or none of that. That's cool. That's cool. It's true. See, some millionaires would be, my team, I can't look bad. I'm a millionaire. I want to look good. He's like, ah, oh, they lose. I'm making money. Let's go get some shrimp. <laughs> That's wrong. Okay. That's All right. Now, a lot of you guys may or may not follow drag racing. That's what people are drag, I, I, run down the street? No, NHRA. Oh, that kind. Okay. I and, thought Norman, and, some of the And friends, not the Rifle Association. <laughs> running down the street, Norman got everybody together. <laughs> I knew he was going to go there. <laughs> hey, look, you guys, I follow it a lot. I ain't going to lie to you. I love watching drag racing, especially if a woman is involved in it. And John Force has won the title this year as far as this championship run. Man's back on top again. But I have to say this. Is NHRA funny car driver Ashley Force, which is the daughter of John Force, does she make drag racing sexier if her father stops talking too much? Because he's the interviewer who basically just runs. He runs his mouth and he's entertaining. But would it be sexier if he let his daughter just drive and not talk? <laughs> Jim, are you going to be stumped on this? Gonna- okay. <laughs> yes. Let's see. <laughs> The cute uh, 20-year-old or whatever versus the older dude. <laughs> that's, a, that's, cool. that's a really hard one for me, Vic. Let me think on that. Oh, let's see. I'll go with the young girl. How's that? I don't know. See, see, you know what he wants to see. see what he's doing? <laughs> We're supposed to see. That was a hard one, well, though, Vic. That's an enthusiast question. Because, you know, sometimes the older white guy right. is attractive, just not to me. <laughs> see, 
We I all know. I'll go with his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? So first of all, we have drag racing enthusiasts who go like, you know, I follow I thought the that's champion. when friends of ours took off their heels and ran down Crenshaw. <laughs> that's what I drag it. racing was. All right. You, okay. <laughs> Can you imagine this uh, woman who's may, maybe 20, 21, 22? Uh, she like looks that. like she's legal. I put her in her 20s. <laughs> okay. And no she's, offense. And she's behind a car that goes in about, say, four seconds up to 300 miles an hour. That's kind of sexy, wouldn't you say, man? Okay, don't, can, ask, don't be, answer that question. She could be sexy without the car for me. <laughs> she could be sexy standing in front of a baby stroller. She could actually be sexy. could actually be sexy standing in front of a small picnic table with a chili dog and some coke and some see, chili see. fries. Because yeah. after you get to look at her, you want to eat. Yeah. You okay, you food. guys. You know, see. See, we need when you're older, you need food with the sexy women. <laughs> sexy women, food, and always eat afterwards. Right. Don't eat before because you'll be falling asleep. Okay, you guys. My do you believe is all over. I always want to end it with a woman being on the show, but we didn't have one. So Ashley, you keep doing what you're doing. Third in the competition for this year, I got to give it to you. Hot. So, Mario, we can go out. You can give them that famous trailer that you love the best. It's the sports. Oh, Lord. When you can run around and get jock itch, even if you're a girl, because you get it from the toilet seat, and you're showering at your boyfriend's house. Watch out for your feet, too. For you peeling.